Francis was a rather vibrant, enthusiastic young man, about 21 uh, years old. And he was very enthusiastic about being a military person, protecting the women, the town that he was in of Assisi. Francis and his army met the people from Perugia in this big contest. And Francis's group from Assisi were absolutely wiped out. They were just destroyed. Francis was kept alive and protected for a while because he had a ransom over his head. He was a val valuable piece of property to the people in Perugia. Now you take a 21 year old, 20, 21 year old young man, really spoiled, has all kinds of energy, is popular, is a musician, is an artist, he's an enthusiast, everybody loves Francis, the life of the party in Assisi. And he's now suddenly thrown down into this hole where he's let to rot for a year. And I think that one of the devastating things for him was the loss of the confidence he had in his father, in his father's world, in his father's economy, in his business, because he realized that the reason he was in this hole was because of his father's business friends. <laughs> but Francis came out of that hell hole a very profoundly changed person. He tried to go back into his world and it didn't work out. He would come, go in and come out, back and forth, from his house to a cave. His salvation was to cling to the other victim, the other innocent victim, Jesus Christ crucified, who died and was, uh, uh, who suffered and died for us. When he was laying on the ground dying, Francis began the song. And that the brothers joined in with him. And what it was, it was the psalm of the prisoner, asking God, going, saying, I look to the right and there's no one there to give me heed. No one is there to help me. I've been betrayed, I've been lost, and, and now I'm, I'm calling you to lead my soul from prison. And then he dies. And it's, the, it's striking, it struck me that that particular psalm was a deeply felt psalm his whole life. That was the psalm that he would share with the brothers. And I think it was, a, it was a coded way of talking about the life that he experienced that year when he was in that hellhole, rotting, abandoned.